Lord do so, seeing you checking in. Well, the Blue Plate Special, the Wednesday Blue Plate Special, as I believe I may have discussed earlier when I was making the pod, is going to become a Thursday Blue Plate Special this week because uh, we had to move the day because of commitment. So, and what I am doing tonight is I am making my world-famous, in Berwick, spaghetti sauce. Um, I have all the ingredients lined up, so it's going to make it awful easy for folks to know what I'm doing. And it's very simple. I'm just taking your, your basic canned spaghetti sauce. And let me see. How big are these critters? Okay. So we have three 24-ounce cans of tomato sauce has gone into my crock pot and two four ounce cans of mushrooms that uh, were stems and pieces which I actually diced up a little bit more to get them smaller one can of diced tomatoes and a can of tomato paste is, is in here already I've already put the uh, put the mushrooms in alright I have on the stove Getting ready to fire up the burner here. I have approximately a pound and a third of bacon, uh, yeah, bacon, of hamburg, excuse me, and a pound of uh, Italian sausage. So all of this is going to be added to that spaghetti sauce. It's going to be set on low and it'll be going probably all night tonight to simmer and on very low and let it cook. All right, what else is going in there? Well, I have approximately a cup of red pepper that I, uh, of a red pepper that I cut, just to add a little bit of color. I have a strong cup of onions. And I have a, well, got about a cup of celery here that's diced up that's going to go in. And a half a cup of carrots that I diced up that's going to go into it. And at the moment, I'm just heating up the frying pan here. The uh, onions and the celery and the pepper will be going in as the, the hamburger and the sausage get cooked up. I'm going to mix that in and kind of cook it in and get all the juices in. And then it will be going into the pot. So I am going to be turning off the camera right now. It's going to take a little while to get that frying pan heated up and get that stuff all scrambled together, but I will be back. So, more to do stuff, seeing you checking out. Okay, Lloyd Dussault Senior checking back in. Uh, we have the meat cooking up. I've been sitting here chopping it up as we go. Get it all chopped. And I will tell you what I added to this. I added, while we were off camera as I say, A little bit of uh, basil leaves, Mediterranean basil leaves, a nice sprinkle all the way around, not going crazy. Same thing with the oregano, and just a teeny pinch of fennel. Fennel goes a long way, so I only put just a little pinch of that. So that's all in there cooking with the sausage and the hamburg, and it's cooking down as we speak. chopping away at it here. I want that hamburger and everything to be blended into very small pieces to make like a meat sauce almost when it's in here. And what I should get. All right, here that go. Now, I'm gonna add the peppers, uh, <laughs> the onions, and the peppers. Alright. And the celery. Alright. And the carrots. Their carrots are certainly not going to be cooked by the time the, the veggies and the other stuff is done, but that's alright. I just need a 
start them out a little bit before they go into the crock box. So, I'm going to turn the camera off again and I'm going to be working those veggies in with the hamburg and get the rest of that cooked down. So, Lloyd Dussel Sr. checking out. Alright, checking back in for a, a quick minute here. I have all of the veggies in with the meat. I started to kind of stir it in a little bit. Stuff's getting cooked pretty good. But what we're going to do here is uh, I'm going to let this simmer for just a bit before I put it in the crock pot. And I'll try to tell you how long that is if I can keep an eye on the time. It's 7.30 now in the evening as it were. So I'm going to put this cover on. We're going to let that simmer for a bit before I add it to the crock pot. Lloyd Dussel Sr. checking out. Okay, we're almost to the point where we're going to put this in the crock pot. What I'm doing right now is I have the burner on it fairly high and I am just push the veggies to one side here a little bit. And I am letting that burner kind of boil down and get a little bit, of, a little bit more of the water out of there before I uh, put it into the uh, pot with the, with the rest of the sauce. And it's going pretty good now, it's not going to take long. Okay, so as a review, look over to, the, to my left. <laughs> we have the uh, fennel seed, the basil leaves, and the oregano that I sprinkle in here. Three cans of tomato sauce, one can of diced onions, two small cans of stems and pieces that I chopped up, and a can of tomato paste. And that's what's in the... Uh, crock pot right now. And the rest here is going to be going in and very shortly. And then it's going to be a matter of time to wait and I will uh, check it over time and if it needs more seasoning I'll add it and I'll mention that when I Bring things to a close on this. And we're just about there. I'm going to turn the camera off for a minute. Let that boil down just a little bit longer. Instead of sitting there having you watch me boil it. Well, it's about that time. It's time to put the meat and the other vegetables into the sauce here. I'm going to do. Try my hand at getting the rest of that in there. Sorry about the back. Alrighty now. Here we go the rest of the veggies. And the meat. Alright, now it's gonna be a waiting game. Gonna miss all this good stuff in together. Crockpot do its magic, hopefully. All right. So, Lloyd Dussault Senior checking out. If I make any modifications, I'll check back in. But as it stands now, it's just a, the waiting game. Okay, what time is it here? It is 7.50. Okay. Lloyd Dussault Senior checking out. Well, Lloyd Dussault.
Mr. Alcina is checking back in. We had lunch today. Everybody enjoyed the spaghetti sauce. There were three of us for lunch today. And so we have three, three thumbs up on the spaghetti sauce. And if you saw the large crock pot that I made of spaghetti sauce, I have uh, one, two, three, four, five containers left. Some of those will go in the freezer for later on, and uh, some will uh, get to be eaten in the very near future. So I made a large batch of spaghetti to go with the sauce. And I guess we can close this out. We can say that everybody enjoyed the uh, Wednesday Blue Plate Special, even though it was on Thursday. So if you want to make sauce the way, uh, the way I did, you can make yourself a humongous batch and freeze it up for later on. Lloyd Lutel Sr. is checking out. Have a good day.